Microsoft unveiled the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus last month, and this is the Surface for every business portfolio. Today, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus and the 12.9-inch iPad Pro. Before I go further, if you guys are new to this channel, please do consider subscribing to Logan the Tech Guy. I make tech comparison videos sometimes and it will be in infographic way or sometimes it will be in voiceover like this one. I explore the science and engineering topics too if the time permits me. So yeah, hit the little red subscribe button and help us to achieve the huge goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers mark. Let's dive in. <music> As always, let's start with the price standpoint. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus comes at $899, US while the Apple iPad Pro comes at $999. US. This is for the 12.9 inch model. Well, this is based on Amazon price where you can find the links below. It's an affiliate link where if you purchase from it, I will get some commissions from it which will eventually help Logan the tech guy to make better videos in the future. There also will be some promo Amazon links too, so do check it out. And to those who have actually purchased from it, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Microsoft says that the latest Surface Pro 7 Plus is their classic ultralight 2-in-1 for business which is faster than ever and keeps you productive with improved all-day battery life. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with a screen size of 12.3 pixel size display with 2736 by 1824 resolution. It comes with pixel per inch of 267 with an aspect ratio of 3 by 2 and a 10 point multi-touch. While the Apple iPad Pro comes with liquid retina display with 12.9 inch size. It comes with LED backlit multi-touch display with IPS technology. The resolution is 2732 by 2048 and it comes with 264 pixels per inch. The Apple's display comes with ProMotion technology with white color display P3. It comes with True Tone display with fingerprint resistant oleophobic coating. It is fully laminated display with anti-reflective coating too. The notable upgrade in the Surface Pro 7 Plus comes in the processor department. It comes with a dual core 11th gen Core i3 processor followed by quad core 11th gen Core i5 which comes with Wi-Fi or LTE model and the highest end comes with the quad core 11th gen i7 processor which only comes in the Wi-Fi variant. While the Apple iPad Pro comes with the A12Z Bionic chip with 64-bit architecture, it comes with neural engine embedded with M12 core processor. If you ask me, Logan, which one of these processors is better? Is it the Intel i7 11th gen processor or the Apple's A12Z processor? Well, to answer that question, I will segregate these answers in two departments. One is features, another one is performance. You be the judge. When it comes to features, the i7 outpaces the A12Z because it has a multi trading MMX, FMA3, F16, and AVX. Well, this are some components to speed up the task such as adjusting the contrast on an image or adjusting the volume by the processor. So when it comes to features department, the i7 is much better. While in performance department, the A12Z is much better than the i7 Intel's 11th gen processor because it has an integrated LTE, a smaller semiconductor size, it uses big little technology and it uses HMP and it has trust zone. The A12Z can utilize all cores at the same time or just a single core for low intensity task. This provides powerful performance and increased battery life respectively. In the graphics department, the Surface Pro 7 Plus is equipped with Intel UHD graphics for the i3 variant, while the i5 and i7 variant comes with Intel Iris XD graphics. For the Apple's iPad, it comes with the A12Z graphics which is integrated so there's no need for separate graphics. In the RAM department, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with 8GB and 16GB LPDDR4 RAM for the Wi-Fi Air LTE model. For the Wi-Fi only model, it comes with 32GB LPDDR4 RAM. While for Apple's iPad Pro, they didn't actually unveil it, but based on GSM Arena website, it comes with 6GB of RAM for all the models. For the port selections, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with various types of connections and it is equipped with a single USB-C, a full-size USB-A, a 3.5mm headphone jack, a single Surface Connect port, Surface Type Cover port, micro SD card reader, a single Nano SIM LTE and it is compatible with Surface Dial off-screen interactions. While for the Apple's iPad Pro, it comes with a speaker, microphones, USB-C, 
and a magnetic connector. For the storage options, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with a removable solid state drive. It comes with the options starting from 128GB, 256GB for the LTE and Wi Fi model, 512 or 1TB of storage for the Wi Fi only model. Additionally, Microsoft has included a replaceable M.2 SSD, which is accessible in the same manner of the Surface X Pro. While the iPad Pro comes with 128GB, 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB of storage model. When it comes for cameras in the Surface Pros, the camera is most often used for online or virtual applications. While you can still use the Apple's cameras for online and virtual applications, it actually can do one step better compared to the Surface Pro cameras. The Apple's iPad cameras can be used for portrait modes, normal casual photos, or recording videos. Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with 5 megapixel front facing camera with 1080p full HD video and it comes with 8 megapixel rear facing autofocus camera with 1080p full HD video with dual far field studio mics. It comes with Windows Hello Face Authentication camera and it comes with 1.6 watts of stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. While for the iPad Pro, it comes with wide lens of 12 megapixels with ultra wide lens of 10 megapixels with 2 times optical zoom, 5 times digital zoom. It comes with 5 elements lens, brighter true tone flash, panorama, sapphire crystals lens, backside illumination sensor, hybrid IR filter, autofocus, step to focus, white color capture, exposure control, noise reduction, smart HDR, auto image stabilization, burst mode, timer mode, photo tagging. It also can record video up to 4K 60 frames per second in ultra wide lens and also in wide lens. It also comes with 1080p HD video recording at 60 frames per second with 720p HD video recording with 30 frames per second. It also can support slow motion video, time lapse, cinematic video stabilization, continuous autofocus video, noise reductions, playback zoom, video geotacking, and video format up to HEVC or H.264. The latest Pro 7 Plus comes with Wi Fi 6 with compatible with Bluetooth 5.0. It also comes with LTE Advanced with removable SIM and eSIM support with Qualcomm Snapdragon X20 LTE modem. While the iPad Pro comes with Wi Fi 6 simultaneously dual band up to 5 GHz with HD80 with MIMO Bluetooth 5.0 technology. Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with security features such as firmware TPM, enterprise grade protections with Windows Hello Face sign in. It comes with the same type of sensors with the ambient light sensors, accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer. While the iPad Pro comes with Face ID, it comes with enabled by True Depth camera for facial recognition, unlock iPad, secure personal data with apps, M LiDAR scanner, 3 axis gyroscope, accelerometer, barometer, and it comes with ambient light sensor purchase from iTunes Store and App Store. One of the major upgrades of the Surface Pro 7 Plus compared to other Surface is in their battery life. The Surface Pro 7 Plus, which comes with Wi Fi model, able to withstand up to 15 hours of typical device usage. Well, for the LTE advancement, it will come up to 13.5 hours of typical device usage. Well, this is based on advertisement by Microsoft. While the iPad Pro 12.9 inch model, which comes with built in 36.71 watt hour rechargeable lithium polymer battery, all of the models can withstand up to 10 hours of surfing the web on Wi-Fi or watching video. Now, before I jump to the pros and the cons of the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus and also the Apple's iPad 12.9 inch model, if you like what you're watching or if you have learned something new, then a sub to this channel will be massively appreciated. For the pros of the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus, it comes with improved CPU and GPU, it has a long battery life, it has a SSD upgrade options, and it has a LTE advanced model. But for the iPad Pros, it comes with trackpad support which is useful and intuitive. While it comes with improved onboard microphones, it has the best implementation of Face ID, it has a LiDAR scanner that looks promising, it has a fast A12Z Bionic performance, it has a brilliant display and an excellent battery life. While for the cons of the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus, it comes with keyboard sold separately and it comes with Surface Pen also sold separately and if you add up both of them, the price range will be much higher. While for the cons of the iPad Pro 
2020 it comes with the same design as of the 2018 model and it's really pricey the ipad os has a learning curve and it's not notably faster than the 2018 model it has a magic keyboard that isn't shipping and if it ships together with it it comes with a very very expensive price point and it comes with some apps which is not optimized for the trackpad the pen is sold separately well, now is the time to ask yourself which one of these devices is for you. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus is to those who need a small and cheap Windows computer that just about does the necessary tasks that one can use for business or studying purposes. If you are not familiarized with the Apple's ecosystem and if you are using a Windows laptop or desktop, then the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus will be good for you. Well, for the iPad Pro, it's extremely expensive, but no any other offers that comes with the same combination of performance and endurance as the iPad Pro. It can be a tablet and a laptop depending on your need. If you're not on a budget and if you want to own a tablet which acts as a laptop and if you want to change from a Windows perspective, then the iPad Pro is the one you should get. Before I end this video, this video is made based on my hands-on usage on the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus and Apple's iPad Pro 12.9 inch model. The views, pros and the cons were made based on my usage on the laptops. There's no compensation and no copy approval provided by the manufacturers to me and there's certainly no any early previews of this video were given to Microsoft or Apple. Logan the tag guy works for the viewers and not the brand manufacturers. So that's it between the comparison between the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus and the Apple's iPad Pro. If you want to check out on the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus versus the old Microsoft Surface Pro 7, I have done the comparison video. Do check it out. And do let me know which one of these device will you go for, the Surface Pro 7 Plus or the iPad Pro. It comes down to your preference which one you want to get. Both of these are versatile and both an upper hand. And if you have any thoughts or constructive criticism, do let me know in the comments below. And if you want to suggest me any tech comparison videos to be made in this channel, then let me know in the comments as well. Like this video if you did find this video helpful. And if you want to see more from me, then hit on the subscribe button right now. It is always appreciated. Check out my other comparison videos. I will catch you next time right here. All love and peace out.